report tonight. The science of climate change is now all but settled. The time for debate is over. I've been to these places. I've seen this stuff. Much better, evidence, but two specific in evidence. searching for a new Increasing enemy to unite us, we came up with the idea that pollution this global sea level has actually risen eight inches in the last in the century and a half. We should never That's allow ourselves to lose sight of the catastrophe we face with present global trends. This was the question that I tackled in my book that I wrote nearly five years ago now, before Al Gore's movie, An Inconvenient Truth, had come out before the IPCC won the Nobel Prize, and also it was 18 months before the emails from the Thematic Research Unit were released. And the two questions I wanted to explore in the book were these. Firstly, why was climate change such a powerful idea that it reached into all areas of society? But secondly, why was it such a difficult issue for politicians to reach agreement on? So those two questions I tackled in the book exploring the reasons why different people in different places disagree about the sort of problem climate change is and what should we do about it. And most scientists there agree is now putting strong evidence that we've got to pay attention to the amount of carbon we have put So many people think that we disagree about climate change because of climate science. It's incomplete, it's too uncertain, it's been poorly communicated, or that it's been undermined by critics with vested interests. What I argue, though, is something different, that we disagree about climate change because of differences in underlying worldviews, ideologies, beliefs, and values. And that we have to find ways of working with these differences. But then does that mean that we should give up on climate policies? It's just too difficult. No, I don't at all. And so at the end of the book, I suggest ways in which we can reframe climate change in ways that can accommodate differences in these belief systems and ideologies and values. Finding more creative ways of working with the idea of climate change. Securing human welfare goals, establishing social justice, ensuring political freedoms for all, or improving human well-being and flourishing. These are the things that drive us forward. And so in the end, climate change is not a problem that can be solved. It's an idea that we can work creatively and fruitfully with in society to achieve our other goals.